Hey, Microsoft Sam. Yes, Mr. Richardson. Should we rent on YouTube's content ID system with Microsoft Mike, Microsoft Mary, Samantha, Radar Overseer Scotty, Jimmy, Hank, Guy, Harvey Zilf, Sydney, Gula, Abby, Robosoft 3, O Nelson and Felicity Stout? I'm in for ranting on YouTube's content ID system. I agree with my boyfriend. Oh boy, it will be a good rant. Finally, we can work together. Yes, we are renting on YouTube's content ID system. I'm renting on YouTube's content ID system with Hank. I agree with Jimmy. I hate YouTube's content ID system. I agree Microsoft Mike. I can't believe that content ID claims are being created for content and manually reviews YouTube videos. YouTube's content ID system must come to an end. I've had it when copyright owners use content ID to manually detect content in selected YouTube videos. Ugh. That system. I'm ready to rant on YouTube's content ID system. YouTube's content ID system. More like a system abused by copyright owners. That system sucks. Why in the frying world would that system create copyright claims for content in YouTube videos impacted by copyright? So copyright owners can manage their copyrighted content and intellectual properties on YouTube. But it left one detail missing. It doesn't let creators, even STC Fetish Muffins faithful subscribers, monetize their videos on YouTube, mark them with a Creative Commons license, and more. Let's talk about the actions and options a creator may have. He or she could trim out the copyrighted segment, replace the copyrighted song with a song from YouTube's audio library, or mute the copyrighted song. Also, he or she is given an option to dispute the copyright claim in question, with a claimant having 30 days to review the dispute. You can also choose to appeal a decision if the claimant rejects your dispute. An approved dispute would be nice, but getting a copyright strike from a rejected appeal, come on. What else? They choose to block, track, or in many cases, monetize a creator's video. That is not really the best experience for the creator. Let's talk about the name of the claimant who claims a creator's video. The content used is, for example, Shrek 2, 2004, reference full movie master, claimed by DreamWorks Animation International and DreamWorks Animation. Sometimes, they can choose to have their own cards in your video instead of yours. There are claim types, like audio, visual, and audio-visual. The claim types can include web content, music video, TV episode, or movie. There is also content that a copyright owner may suggest, so for example, suggested by NBCU slash DreamWorks Family International, the details, the hairbrush song, silly songs with Larry. Music in this video is also another example. It includes the title of the song, the name of the artist or writer who writes and performs music, and the title of the album. However, it also includes the name of the company they work with. For example, license to YouTube by UMG on behalf of Walt Disney Records, Sony ATV Publishing, UMPG Publishing, The Royalty Network, Publishing, and 19 Music Rights Societies. There's also the timestamp of copyrighted content that has been claimed by the owner of copyright. All of these factors are why YouTube's content ID system sucks. And a rant. I can't believe it's Easter Sunday. Before we end this video, does Content ID know what happens when copyright issues come up from time to time that impact your YouTube videos? You just made the list!